Hello, ACL here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about save file encryption. Now, we're not going to be covering how to break every form of encryption. In fact, we're not even going to be covering how to break encryption. We're just going to be going over how we can kind of abuse poor encryption systems such that we can change values without actually having to decrypt any of the encrypted information. And the game we're going to be doing this on is called The Spirit Engine 2. Uh, free game as usual. There's a download page uh, I'll put in the description for those of you that are lazy as usual. Uh, anyhow, uh, it takes a while to get to the save shrine in this game, but kill a few enemies near there, and then go ahead and save. And what we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're gonna we're gonna take a look at the uh, data here. First, I'm gonna make a backup. Whoops, uh, I'm fine with that. Okay, and what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and change the skill points of one of our players. I suppose I'll pick the middle guy here. I just went with the default settings on the characters, nothing fancy. And I'm going to change the number of free skill points I have. And to do this, I'm just going to try and spend one. So I spent one. Now I'm going to save to slot one. So now, uh, this is where the save data, data is kept for the skill points. It took me a while to figure that out because they split things up into many save files. And the save files are stored very awkwardly. If you go a few folders back, you'll find some very obnoxious things, like uh, there's a current, stored, whatever. There's all sorts of weird directories, but this is the one. This is the correct one. And what we're going to do is here is the, uh, the data where we spent a point, and this is the one where we still have the point, and it's this, this file right there, the backup that we made. So we'll call it P... P care N back. We're going to do a comparison on these. The first thing you'll notice right off the bat is we don't really see any clean values like 1 and 2, which is uh, what you would expect from a standard file. We had 2 points and 1 fortitude before, now we have 1 point and 2 fortitude. And let's step through the uh, differences here. You see there's a lot of differences. Not too many, but there's still a lot. And okay, so there are three little chunks of five or six each where uh where there were some differences. And basically, in order to deal with these these encrypted values, we're actually gonna do something uh fairly simple. We're just gonna shotgun it literally just arbitrarily change things. So this is the current one. Let's try changing this 0C to 0D. and see what happens. That's basically how this is going to function. So let's exit the menu, continue, try and log in. Okay, good. We didn't get a corrupted save file. That's, uh, that's pretty solid. Oh, and look, look what happened. I managed to change the uh, skill points to some ungodly amount that we can probably n not even fathom. Uh, it was possible that we could have accidentally changed fortitude. It's also possible that we could have corrupted our save file altogether. In fact, I think I want to demo what that might look like. Uh, I think if we had changed the first value, that's possible. Let's try to change this to A5. Just a small change. And if we exit to the main menu, this is saved continue yeah okay so this uh, this immediately corrupted our save file and there were some issues um, it's literally just shotgun see what happens hopefully you get a change that results in what you want based on a, a careful file compare You're not always guaranteed to get what you want but it's very possible if they don't have any sort of checksums or a any any checks to make sure you haven't tampered with the data, you're still fine to mess with it, so encryption isn't any good if you're not coupling it with integrity checks. Because otherwise, users can just come in and change things until something happens. Sure, it's not as controlled as the user would like, 
we weren't able to change the value to something we wanted. We kind of had to just hope that we got something usable, but uh, fairly simple. Not as intimidating as it sounds. Okay, this one's a pretty short one. Thanks for watching, and farewell.